Hello everyone, Nadlabs here. Today I'm going to be showing how you can change the default gravity in the Godot game engine. And I forgot to make this the default scene. And you can see these are just uh, rigid bodies over here. And they're bouncing upwards instead of downwards. And this took me some time to find out. I couldn't find it on the internet. Or at least I didn't look that far. So yeah, I'll just show you how to change it. And you can change it to whatever uh, direction you want. And maybe that'll help you for your project. But you can see in this scene tree, we have a... We have two nodes, one housing all the static bodies we have on the sides, which are just the walls. And we have uh, another node called ball bodies, which is just a folder, and it's housing all the balls. And the balls were made through a rigid body, sprite collision shape, and I just uh, changed the physics properties a bit. But you can see that the gravity scale is still set to 1, which means if you read this, it will say that it will move according to the default gravity value in project settings. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll find physics 2D and then you'll find a default gravity vector and you can change this to whatever you want. So in the intro, when you saw it go upwards, it was negative one. But let's say I wanted to make it go rightwards. I'll just make this one and the static bodies are just static bodies. And you can see that if I run the scene, all the balls start to move rightwards. And that's a very simple fix if you want to make sure that uh, all your static bodies are moving in the correct way or if you want to make something that's a little bit... Uh, uh, cooler or maybe you want to do something that's in space right and you can easily do that if you go over there into your project settings again make this zero and you run the scene you can see that everything will act like it's in space right because these rigid bodies can still be affected but they're just standing stationary and you can see when I just add a simple kinematic body D with a very simple mouse movement control and I run the scene by clicking F5 you can see that uh, this pink one is the one that's controlled by the mouse. And you can see that once I collide with these bodies, they're still moving as if they were uh, regular rigid bodies, but just without gravity. And yeah, that's all I want to say for this tutorial. Have an amazing day.